Kate's got your Friday forecast, and it looks like for us anyway, Dorian is done. Dorian is done yeah. for us. For the Good. most part, there's just a couple of little sprinkles out there. That's the yeah. end of it. And even if we take a look outside, you'll see that we're starting to see some clearing in the skies outside. Let's take a look at Philadelphia. You can see just a few patchy clouds there over the skyline as skies begin to clear. And we bid farewell finally to Dorian. Dorian still has some energy left in the tank, though, expected to make landfall tomorrow in Nova Scotia. Still is a Category 1 hurricane. This storm does not want to die, and it's going to be bringing strong winds and heavy rain to the Canadian Maritime Provinces. But nothing for us. It is a cool night, cool and breezy. If you were out tonight, you know you needed a sweater or a jacket out there. It's 60 in Philadelphia right now, 58 in Trenton, 52 degrees in Mount Pocono. It'll stay relatively steady through the overnight hours, but on the chilly side for the time of year. Now, wind speeds right now, you can see still a bit strong down the shore. We're seeing winds sustained at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, but gusts are a bit higher than that. You can see mainly out of the north and west down the shore right now as that storm begins to pull away. So there is Dorian. You can see the circulation in the clouds. The heaviest of the rain is to the north of the storm. It's impacting portions of coastal Massachusetts, Cape Cod, Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, back into portions of Rhode Island as well tonight, and all headed up toward Nova Scotia tomorrow. So zooming in on our area, notice how that rain is pulling out of here and just a few lingering sprinkles, not much even showing up at all as we zoom in on our local radar imagery. So future weather shows those clouds continuing to clear tonight. Tomorrow we'll see some sunshine through Throughout the day, a beautiful day, just a few patchy clouds in the afternoon. Cool, breezy, comfortable, cool start, and a nice mild afternoon. Here's the Eagles opening day forecast Sunday, looking like a few more clouds in the sky. We'll call it partly to mostly sunny, but still mild with temperatures in the upper 70s throughout the course of the day. There may be a couple of showers that creep in on Monday. Overnight showers come to an end. They pretty much already have, and clouds will clear. It will be breezy. We're down to 60 degrees overnight. Mostly sunny with a nice, cool breeze for your Saturday, 79 degrees. Winds are out of the northwest at 10 miles per hour. Your eyewitness weather game day forecast for the Eagles opening day looks fantastic. 78 degrees, a great way to start the season. That's the kickoff temperature. Great day to be outside and a great morning for some tailgating. Your shortcast does also feature improving weather. Sun and clouds tomorrow, still a bit breezy. Sunday is a beautiful day with temperatures in the mid 70s and a good deal of sunshine. Eyewitness weather seven day forecast. We've got upper 70s through the weekend. Great for the birds on Sunday. Monday clouds, a few more clouds, maybe a shower 76. We warm right back up to the 80s next Tuesday and Wednesday. And I don't know if someone's dropping money. We were doing some construction. No, I, I had an issue with my mic. A little piece fell off. Yeah, that was like, a, that like a big piece. I was piece. looking for quarters. No, I'm, no. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping to, no. hoping to hit the vending machine. I'm <laughs> looking around. Well, you, you handled it like a champ, uh, a true pro. Yes, you did. Um, yes, you did.